everyone welcome to my channel so for today's video we're gonna throw it back to the old school uh youtube and do a what's in my bag video so i'm gonna be talking about what is in my bag and this is my little bag i just got it my boyfriend just bought it for me so i wanted to come on here and just kind of share with you and i don't know bring some positivity into youtube let's just throw it back to the old youtube days so if you want to see what is in my bag then keep on watching all right so this is my new bag i just got it this week me and my boyfriend were walking on hate street hate in ashbury if you guys don't know what that is y'all but we were walking around and we passed by the doc martin store and i saw this bag and i fell in love i loved it so much and my boyfriend offered to buy it for me and i told him no and we walked away from the store and i was like wow i should have bought that purse or i should have let you buy me that purse so he went the next day and bought it for me and surprised me so here it is this is my purse it's super super tiny but I had a really really big purse before this and I'm going back to work soon and I don't really want to be carrying all the crap that I was carrying so this is really cute it is black and it has little um, buckle clips right here that have like little magnets and this purse is actually like a clear uh, black plastic and then on the back it has uh the dog martin's like logo imprinted right here i think this bag is so cute oh and then in the front right here it also has their uh dog martin's logo right here in like a metal thing i don't even know what to t what to call that but it's so cute i saw it in the store and i was like dude i need this purse and I'm not a purse girl, y'all know that I shop at Target for my purses. I always buy really affordable purses. And I didn't even buy this one, but just wanted to share with you guys. So it has a little clasp, the magnet clasps. And it's a pretty small purse, but like I said, I'm going back to work and I don't really need to be carrying like all the crap that I've been carrying. So, so let's get into what's inside. Um, I really like this too because it has like little um, plastic flaps right here that protect all your stuff from falling out. I've had that happen to me with bags like this before and I was so mad. So let's open it up and the first thing that I have in here that I can see is a Trader Joe's gift card. This gift card I've had for a long ass time. Um, I used to work at a senior home and for Christmas they would always give us these Trader Joe's gift cards and I still have mine. Once in a while I'll remember to use it. Are you guys like that too where you guys have gift cards and you'll go to the store and not use them because you forget? I always do that. But when I do remember, I use it and it's right here at the top because I have to go to Trader Joe's in the next few days so and the second thing that I have in my purse right here is this um, MAC spice lip pencil this is what I have lined my lips with today I always stick it in my purse because this is my go-to lip liner I love this lip liner if you guys don't have this you guys need this the next thing that I have in my purse is COVID related this is my little hand sanitizer it's from Bath and Body Works, but I refilled it with some stronger um, hand sanitizer. That way it can actually clean. And I'm not really a fan of scented hand sanitizers. I think they're like kind of gross. I feel like hand sanitizer, my hands aren't as clean as, as I would like them to be. Like where does all the dirt go? Like you just kind of rub it around. You get me? Um, so I use it when I go to the store or something, but as soon as I get home, obviously wash your hands. The next thing that's in my purse, I guess we'll just pull this thing out because it's COVID related too. I have a mask in here. I'm planning to make a mask so I don't have to keep reusing these really bad for the earth because they just get thrown around and stuff. Um, but I have one just in case I go to the store or something and I'm like, oh shoot, I can't go in because I don't have a mask. So make sure you guys put masks in your purse because I see way too many people not wearing masks lately and I'm like, 
Oh, right here on the little uh, buckles, I have a little hair clip. This one is from Target. They're the um, scrunchy brand. And I always have these hair clips in my bags because I always clip my hair up like this if I'm eating or if I'm washing dishes or doing something around the house. So it's out of the way. Also, if you want to see how I curl my hair, I'll go ahead and link the video down below. Um, hopefully it's up by then. So the next thing that is in my purse is my registration for my car. So we are like technically still in quarantine, kind of. Um, I haven't gone back to work, so I haven't been driving too much. Um, so my sticker is in here for my registration. And I need to put this on ASAP because it was supposed to go up on in May and it's already July. And it's still not on my car, but I haven't been driving it, so it's here. And the next thing that is in my purse is my wallet. This wallet is from Target. I love it so much. It was $8, and it has all the space for the cards that I have. And then it has a little pocket right here for money, like cash. And then a little pocket right here for coins. I love this little wallet. Honestly, you guys know I don't like spending a lot of money on purses or accessories, wallets, that sort of thing. So this little $8 wallet from Target was all I needed. I wanted something that was really skinny so I could fit into a little purse like this. And also put it in a big purse if I want. It's really like interchangeable i can use it in this purse or my other purse or wherever i'll see if i can link this down below if you guys are looking for something like this and it's really simple it has a gold little uh, zipper and and the next thing that i have in my purse which is actually the last thing but this one has the most in it is this little what is this called like a makeup bag kind of and this was in my last what's in my bag video um i'll be sure to link that video up here but this is still in good condition it looks just like it used to this i got at forever 21 just um on the way out you know where they have like junk to look at when you're trying to pay yeah i got got there in line and i bought this uh, but that was a long time ago when we actually had forever 21s around i feel like 2020 is like a whole different era to be honest so the first thing that i have in here is my favorite lipstick this is the anastasia beverly hills peachy lipstick it's the one that i'm wearing on my lips right now i always have a spare one in my purse and I love this lipstick. You guys know I always use it in my videos because it's like a really neutral pinky peach lipstick that goes really well with my skin color. I carry that literally everywhere I go. And the next thing that I have in here is my Lion Balm Cannabis. It's like a balm that you can put on your body and I have really bad back problems so I use this all the time. It looks hella weird right now. But it's just like a little balm and you just rub it on wherever it hurts and it helps a lot with the pain. Um, sometimes I can't even like twist my body this way because my back hurts that bad. So I carry around this everywhere I go. And the next thing that is in my purse is this. If you guys know what this is, then you know what it is. If you don't know what it is, then you don't need to know what it is. So that is in my purse purse as well and um, the next thing that is in my little bag here is ah is my maria badescu lip balm um my friend dom put me on to this lip balm and i love it so much i've used maybe four or five of these and and when i'm not wearing lipstick i can't not wear this like i always have to wear this because my lips are so dry and I always look my lip. This is a coconut oil infused lip balm and it's only a few bucks at Ulta so if you are looking for a lip balm this is a really good one. The next thing in my little purse right here is my coin purse. Um, this was actually my uncle's who passed away 
last year I had both of my uncles pass away last year but this is one of theirs and I just keep my little coins in here or the meters or anything like that parking literally anywhere even in front of my house I have to pay for parking if I can't find a space so I always have this on hand I hate carrying around change but I have it here the next thing in this little tiny bag that carries a lot are some backup pads just in case I ever need them. The next thing that is in my purse are two scrunchies just in case anytime I need them I know that they're in here. Along the lines of little hair tools I have these two um what are these called? I don't know hair clips they're like brooches kind of um like the old school you know the ones that the girls wear right here now I can't I look stupid like that but I carry these because I have a lot of baby hairs, if you guys can tell, right here. They're kind of growing out now, but when I put my hair up in a ponytail, I haven't put my hair up in so long. When I put my hair up in a ponytail and I go to work, sometimes my baby hairs like come down like that. Can you see? And I don't really like that, so I just kind of clip them up. So I have some extra one of these in my purse. And the last thing that I have in my little purse is my lash glue. This is my backup lash glue. So this is the Duo Brush On Adhesive Lash Glue. And I usually use the House of Lashes here at home, but if I need to re-glue a lash on or anything, I have my backup Duo glue in here. So those are all the things that were in this bag. And then I kind of want to show you guys the actual bag so it's a kind of clear um, plastic you guys can see like the wall behind you can see my hand through it so it has the um <laughs> all right so i want to show you the bag so it's like a clear plastic if you guys can tell um you guys can see my face through it kind of and it has these little metal clasps like i said and the little buckles and right here along the side it has the famous doc martin yellow stitching which honestly the, probably the reason why i bought this bag because i saw it from far away and i was like um it just has like a little strap with the airwear with the bouncing soles like their their brand all over and then it also adjusts so you can have it as high or as low as you want it and let me show you what it looks like on so, so this is what it looks like um i have it like a little bit lower so it sits like right at my butt um but it looks so adorable i love this bag So that was everything that was in my purse. Thank you guys so much for just hanging out with me. I know this video was kind of short, but um, I just wanted to share with you my new bag. I'll be sure to link it if I can find it, but I'm pretty sure that it's out of stock online. So if you guys have a Doc Martin store near you, I would definitely go in store and look for this ASAP because as soon as I saw it in store and I came home, I looked online to see if I could just order it and not have to drive back to the city, but it was sold out. So, so that is everything for this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to see more content from me. Uh, follow me on Instagram to catch up with me between uploads and that is everything that I have to say. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone!